Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do a fall part two video for you guys. Um, really excited. I had to go back because they got the full body care out. I asked the, the I called up the lady. They said they got the, all the full stuff out now, so I had to go back. This will be the last fall haul until September, and the only thing I'm going to get, I mean, there's no more fall stuff I'm getting. No more fall stuff. The only thing I'm going to go back in the store to get in September and August is the Halloween stuff. I'm going to get some hand soaps, I'm going to get some um, Halloween pocket bags, Halloween hand soaps, Halloween candles, and then that is it. I am done until Christmas time. So this is going to be called the Bath and Body Works Fall Haul Part 2 video. And then the next time I go, which will be the Halloween one, I'll just call it the Bath and Body Works Halloween Haul. I mean, I won't even put fall in here there because it's just going to be Halloween stuff. So, I got a couple of items about it here. I got five hand soaps, I got a pocket bag, a wallflower, and a candle. So, we're going to dive right into this bitch because uh, this one is good. So, um... By the way, lipstick I'm wearing is Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. Lip gloss is Kylie Jenner. Um, Sugar Plum. Perfume of the day is Prada Candy. Yeah, okay, so let's do it. Um, whew, it is hot, bitch. It is hot. Girl. Okay, so let's get started. So, um... You know when you get like some, like a little makeup on your nose or underneath? Like you get like a little makeup in the nose and it itches? This I got right now. So I'm not picking my nose. I'm just uh, patting down the extra makeup I have on because oh my god, it is freaking hot. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the one pocket bag I got Confetti Cupcake. And it's called Sweet Sprinkles. Okay. This smells like a very light, timid version of the Cotton Candy Bliss pocket bag. And it also smells like the Cotton Candy Happy Easter hand soap. It smells more like the Cotton Candy Happy Easter hand soap, like identical to that. But um, it has that like Cotton Candy Bliss pocket bag type of smell too, where, but it, the Cotton Candy Bliss is way more Cotton Candy and way stronger. This is more like lighter and a little, it's just sweeter. It's just sweet, but it's light and it, um, it just smells just like the happiest the kind of candy candle, uh, candle and the hand soap. So if you like that, then you're gonna like this. Mmm, smells so good. I love that one. Okay. Next I'm gonna do is the one wallflower I got, and that is caramel apple. Very excited to put, to, to put this in my wallflower in the bathroom this fall because I love the candle, and if this smells just like the candle, then I'm in for a real treat in the bathroom this, this fall because that candle, again, is um, top-notch, baby. Top-notch. Okay, so next I'm going to do hand soaps. And then I'll do body care and then the one candle. Okay, so the five hand soaps I got. I'm going to do the couple that I... The few I got last time that I got again. Because I had to get backups of it because I love them so much. So the first one is pumpkin cupcake. I got two of them. So right now I have four, four pumpkin cupcakes. I think I have one foaming from last year. One... Uh, pumpkin butter that I got from the last hole and this one so that's three and then one other gentle foaming hand soaps that's four so I got two so I got all together I got two gentle foaming pumpkin cupcake hand soaps and two of the pumpkin butter pumpkin cupcake hand soaps so all together four pumpkin cupcake so that's that I had to back I had to stock up on this because I love the packaging this year and I love pumpkin cupcake we all know this it's the best it really is. It really is the best. I love pumpkin cupcake. Um, I think it's always going to come back because it's, it's just so good. So yeah, I'm not even going to open up the smell because you guys already know I love the smell of this. And it's great. Oh, friggin' love it. I love it so much. Love, love, love. So next, I got a backup of... Because I love this packaging this year, marshmallow pumpkin latte. So I got a backup of that one. So now I got two foaming of marshmallow pumpkin latte hand soaps. Um... Love this packaging. So, again, I got it back up because if next year I don't like the packaging on Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, then I will just use this one in the bathroom next year. If I don't like the packaging of Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte next year, I will just use this one. That's why it's good to stock up on the packaging that you like for that year because it, that packaging is not going to be the same the next year. So you, And you may not like that packaging, so then you're fucked. So I got two of this one because I love the packaging this year. Okay. And again... 
if you watched my full haul from last year, you guys already know that full packaging last year was a, just a complete mess. And is this my favorite full packaging of all time they ever had? No, but it is leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds better than last year. Last year was, they need to forget it. They need to put that shit back in the vault and just lock it and then never open it again because that packaging was the worst. They need to, whatever they have left over that, don't bring it back ever at any semi-annual so I think this is the worst. Okay, anyways. So now, um, next hand soap is a foaming and crisp morning air. This is new. I didn't get this from the last fall, so I will read you the notes of this one. Fresh Pine Juniper and Juicy Pear. Now, you guys know I do love this one. I got the summer version of this, um, which is the same scent, but it's just different packaging. I do like the full version better because I feel like it's a full hand soap, not a summer one. Um, again, I said it the last time when I did the summer haul. I, I don't smell the... I don't smell pear. I smell like a fruity apple smell, which could be a pear smell, but I, I smell more apple. It's an apple mixed with the fresh pine. That's what I smell. Yeah, it's more apple to me. I don't know why. I get more apple and fresh pine. I don't really get juniper. I get, I get fresh pine and apple. I don't know. I don't get pear, which is weird, but yeah, I don't get pear. Alright, and then the last hand soap is a sweet cinnamon pumpkin and foaming. Now, I do like the packaging this year. I have one deep cleansing from last year, which I'm going to use up this fall. But, um, I do love the packaging on the foaming, so I had to get, um, a backup of sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I got that. And this has keynotes of harvest pumpkin, spice clove, and sugar cane. Which smells amazing. This smells just like the, the body care in sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which is amazing. Um, the only thing it smells, the only form in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin that smells different that I feel like is the candle. The candle smells more cinnamony than pumpkin. It's just a, a cinnamony candle. It's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin candle. But that's the only form of Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin that I feel like is different than everything else is the candle. But yeah, it's that. Ooh. That's where I got tissues handy because like some of these hands, if they leak and they get it, or well, they're wet, whatever. Okay, so now let's do the body care. Now, compared to other YouTubers, this is nothing. This is peanuts. But listen, I'm grateful for what I got. I love this smell. You guys already know I, this is my favorite full smell of all time, which is the marshmallow pumpkin latte. So I got that because I used up my marshmallow pumpkin latte from last cu my last couple of years. I used the whole thing up, so I had to get I had to get it again. Marshmallow pumpkin latte and the ultra shade body cream and the fine fingers mist. I got the shower gel still from last year, which was that honeycomb packaging, which was way so too expensive. Uh, it was ridiculous. I don't know why I bought that shower gel, but um, I bought it, and I still have it in the bathroom. I'm going to use it this fall. So yeah, the reason why I bought it this year, last year I didn't buy it because the packaging sucked. This year the packaging's better. Now, my favorite packaging body cream of Marshall Pumpkin Latte is the one that I used up to, from two years ago, which was the um, one with the mug in front of it with the full leaves. That was my favorite packaging of fall, was that was that full body care line. was the best. It was the best. My favorite fine fragrance mist packaging of Marshall Pumpkin Latte was the one with the glitter leaves because, you know, I love glitter and it was so pretty, the glitter leaves. Um, but I never got that fine fragrance mist, which I'm beating myself up of. But I do love this packaging, too. The only thing I would have changed with this packaging is I probably would have added, because I love glitter, I would have added glitter, I mean, hello, I got sequins, everything, okay. So I would have added glitter to the pine cones and maybe to the leaves, you know? That's the only thing I would have changed. But I do like this packaging a lot. I mean, again, leaves and bounce from last year. And then the body cream, I would have changed. I don't like the pumpkin in this. I don't know if I'm being too picky, but I don't like the pumpkin because it's like a weird color. And I don't know, it's like a creamy color, which is like... It looks like some type of, I don't know if that's supposed to look like a mug. Like if that's supposed to look like a coffee swirled in into, into a pumpkin form. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I think they should have just put a, a mug then in front of the body cream and not even just do the stupid pumpkin with the foam of the cream of the mug. I don't even know. I don't even know what they were trying to do with that. But I do like the pumpkins in the background and yet yeah, they should have just put a mug in the front I feel like. But hey. It's cute packaging. And it's, thank goodness it's full. So this has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. I can't spray this on me right now, but because I have product candy on, I spray a lot of product candy, and that shit's already strong. But I'll spray it in the air, yeah. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh. Oh my god. I didn't even leave the store yet and I was like spraying myself and the girl was like, girl, you're already starting. You're already starting up. You couldn't even leave the store and spray. You had to already open up the bag and spray it. I was like, I got to because I can't help myself. Like, it's so good. I was like, I was even, I was paying and I kept spraying it. I was like paying for the vitamins. So I was like spraying it up on the, the cash register. I was like, oh, so good. So anyways, I love it in both forms. They, it smells like pumpkin. No, well, you basically smell the marshmallow and the praline musk. That's the two notes that are very prominent in this, is the marshmallow and the praline musk. The praline musk make, makes it a little bit um, spicy and, and a little spicy, mixed with that marshmallow, the sweet, sweet marshmallow, and then the little pumpkin in it. I don't smell latte, which is like a coffee note, I guess. I don't smell coffee in this. They smell pretty much the same in both forms. Um, the only difference is, is that the cream lasts longer. The smell on the cream is going to last longer on your skin. And the fine fragrance is very light. So you got to keep spraying. But other than that, the smell is basically identical in both forms. So yeah, that's that. Love marshmallow pumpkin latte. You guys know I loved it. Now, the other smells. They had a they had two new ones. The spice vanilla one, which just smelled like a generic spicy vanilla smell. Which still smells good, don't get me wrong. I mean, everything at Bath & Body Works smells amazing. Even the worst thing at Bath & Body Works still smells the best. I mean, everything smells good. But, it just wasn't my favorite. It just smelled like a, a generic spicy vanilla smell, nothing nothing too crazy. But I did like the green one. The green one, the crisp orchard leaves. It was like a crisp, full, clean, afternoon, little earthy smell. I, don't, I really liked it though, it was really, really nice. Was it Perfect Autumn Day, which I love, perf you know I love Perfect Autumn Day and I fucking lost that on that because it never came back and I never got anything on the end that body care that year I was really pissed off at myself but the but it's a little similar where it has that clean full air aspect of perfect autumn day but it doesn't have that sweetness of perfect autumn day that 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 scent had um but the crisp orchard leaves is nice but I didn't get anything in that because none of the new full stuff really blew me away Okay, now the one candle I got, which is, you guys, I had to go get this candle, I don't even care. Blueberry Maple Pancakes. You guys, you don't even know. You don't even know. Again, the packaging skewed with the lid. It has notes of wild blueberries, griddle, fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup. So basically what the title says. Okay, it doesn't smell, it smells, honestly, this is blueberry. I will say that. The note in blueberry is very prominent. It, it, the blueberry is strong. Does it smell like a fresh blueberry? No, but it does smell like a sweet, very sweet candy-like blueberry. Like if it was a blueberry candy, it smells like a candy from the past, like in my childhood. I can't put my finger on it. It's like, it was some type of blueberry candy I Blue raspberry candy, I don't even know. But it smells identical to blueberries. And then, it's like a very sweet, fruity blueberry, but then that maple syrup on top makes it so delicious. So the note you smell the most is the blueberry, which is great. You smell the blueberry the most, and then you, I would say you smell the maple syrup. And then the pancake note, it's underneath everything, but the blueberry is so strong that it overcompensates the pancakes, which you really don't smell the pancake, you just mostly smell blueberry with the maple syrup. But the blueberry is the, the strongest note in this. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I, I can't even, uh, I can't. This year they came back, baby. They came back so strong, and I'm so happy for them. <sighs> Well, that's it. That was part two of my Bath & Body Works full haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, as I said, the Halloween haul's coming. End of August, beginning of September, so look out for that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go to my friend's birthday. I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the giveaway winner I uploaded, I recorded that tonight, so I'm gonna upload both these videos either tonight or tomorrow. So by tomorrow, the, gi the giveaway winner will know that they won. And I will probably reply to the comment and let them know tomorrow when I upload this instead of doing it right now. 
But I have to go. I have to go right now because I have my friend's birthday. I have to go to. Um, we're going to have fun in the city. I have to check what time it is, actually. 8.19. I never... Okay, so I'm asking if there's, like, um, a dress code. She said, I believe so. I've never been there. Maybe look on the website and see. All I know is the view is pretty. <laughs> oh, well. All right. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go. Um... I may do a Instagram live very quickly just to talk to you guys about a couple things and then I'm going to go. Alright? Love you guys. Bye.